what is up youtube welcome back to my channel and this video is going to be different compared to the other videos i do usually in my videos i show you guys an entire time lapse from start to finish exactly how i customize the shoe the idea and the painting process however in one of my custom videos that i did a commenter left this comment right here as you can see it asked me to do an in-depth tutorial on how exactly i go about drawing my concepts that i have in my head onto a pair of shoes and then how i go about painting it so i thought I would dedicate this video in exactly explaining my step process and my thought process as I go about doing that. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did this Dragon Ball Z Air Force One Custom, as you can see right here. And I only showed you guys the right shoe and how I went about painting this right shoe. And I never exactly showed you the left shoe. The reason why to that is because I didn't think there was enough content on the left shoe for me to create an entire video of. So I thought, let me dedicate this video specifically to answer that comment as well as to explain exactly my step by step process exactly how i go about it from getting the concept to drawing on the shoe to exactly painting it ideas hand steps and kind of things that you guys might find useful when you're customizing your own shoe and i really hope you enjoy this video so stick to the end so first things first is my equipment so what do i use for every custom that i do now for this specific video i'm not going to go into detail that much every video that i do every the custom I do all the equipment is always linked in the description so if you guys want a longer list or more descriptive list of exactly what I use check the description below now for every custom I do I always clean the surface before I do anything else because you do not know how long that shoe or that item has been in the warehouse or in the stock room however long and it can gather up dust particles that you cannot necessarily see with your naked eye so it's always nice to comfortably just clean off the surface so you know you're working with something clean afterwards obviously we move on to removing the factory protective finish of the said item now i know for a fact that air force ones do come with a factory protective finish but whatever you're customizing always just check on google if it does come with a standardized factory protective finish the next thing to do is to obviously use either a 4b or a 2b pencil the reason why i recommend that is because it's a darker shade than a hp pencil making it easier for you to see your eye outlines and your character composition on a pair of Air Force Ones if you're gonna paint on a pair of Air Force Ones afterwards is to use your matte acrylic finisher now i do recommend to use your matte acrylic finisher towards the end because it is a finisher and it seals up the paint and makes sure the paint lasts longer otherwise just to use a normal rubber and a normal pencil sharpener and then obviously your paint brushes now i do have a variety of paint brushes so everything will be linked in the description below the next most important thing is to actually have a reference picture now for me specifically whenever i'm painting i have two ultra wide screens in front of me so whenever i'm painting i have a reference picture up on my screen so i don't necessarily have to print one out but i do recommend printing a reference picture because when you're actually painting on a pair of shoes or any other surface having a reference picture makes it easier for you to not make any unnecessary mistakes it also makes it easier for you to add on more creative stuff if you want to add on if you want to change the idea of the reference picture let's say you want to add a certain tree or set an object in the scene it makes it easier to make that scene or object more realistic if you have a base to work on now for this specific custom this um, Dragon Ball Z custom the reference picture I didn't print one out therefore I'm using a reference picture from another custom that I did to give you a look and an understanding the changes I did for the custom I did for this reference picture this is the Disney Bambi theme cost Air Force One that I did for a different customer as you can see I've added on more to the scene than the original reference picture I've also done a couple of changes I didn't want the pink on the shoe that it has on the reference picture so as you can see having a reference picture it makes it easier for you to add on or to remove additional characters or objects onto the scene that you're painting it also makes it easier to make changes if you like I made a mistake stake on the tree and I look at the reference picture and I can see okay if I add a different branch or if I make the tree get a little bit bigger on the one side it doesn't destroy the scene it adds on more to the scene so I always recommend having a reference picture moving on to the third and the final phase is the actual printing process now for this phase the most crucial idea and the most crucial concept that I always tell everyone who always ask me hey Todd how can I get more detail in my shoe there's only two factors that can always, always, always 
indicate how well or how much detail that will be able to go into a shoe how much time you have dedicated to paint that shoe as well as how many compromises can you make let me explain so for this shoe this dragon ball z shoe that i did this took me 12 hours straight of painting i did not take any breaks i did not take any um small breaks i did not eat any lunch or any other food or in between it just took me 12 hours of painting this in black and white straight in my head i knew this would take me two to three days so i knew the time that i needed was going to take me two to three days and the compromises that i would have to make was not being able to customize anything else throughout those three days it ended up being only 12 hours luckily but those are the compromises and the time that i have to dedicate for that type of shoe now looking onto a shoe that's more detailed is this Bambi shoe, this Disney Bambi shoe that I did. Looking at the left shoe right here, this took me 8 hours straight for 3 weeks just to customize something as detailed as this. If we zoom in a little bit closer, trying to capture the background, the leaves, the grass and all that, the flowers that don't look as detailed but you can get an idea that they're flowers. Also trying to capture Bambi herself, that took me, like I said, eight hours straight for three weeks obviously i took breaks in between those eight hours but something like this that requires more detail obviously requires more time and energy therefore i can get more detail so the compromise that i would make is not being able to customize anything else in between those eight hours so again you have to find that balance but the overall idea that i always tell everyone is whenever you're going to customize something whatever idea you have whether it's in black and white whether it's as detailed as this if you're trying to capture something more realistic and more detailed the amount of time and energy you spend on the shoe or on the custom will always indicate how much detail you can achieve i don't want to say regardless of your skill set or how skillful you are but if you're generally able to draw something or generally able to paint at a medium or to intimate level you will be able to just understand that the amount of time that you spend on a shoe or on a custom will always indicate how much energy and compromise you have to make and how much detail you'll be able to achieve.